for you all welcome in this session students in our previous session we had discussed about the carbon and its compounds and in this chapter we already had discussed that the allotropes of carbon so you know the different forms of carbon that are crystalline forms and amorphous form and these crystalline forms that are diamond graphite fullerene these are the crystalline forms and charcoal coal soot gas carbon coke these are the amorphous forms so here we will study about the difference between the crystalline and amorphous form so you know that crystalline form they have definite geometry three dimensional shape but here amorphous have no definite geometric shape and the crystalline have sharp edges or plane surfaces and amorphous no sharp edges or plane surfaces these crystallines have definite melting point but amorphous have not any definite melting point crystallines are more rigid but amorphous are less rigid crystallines examples are diamond graphite and fullerene and amorphous example are coal charcoal and coke soot etc now crystalline forms of carbon you will study it at first the diamond you know then diamond graphite and fullerene are the crystalline forms of the carbon so diamond here since diamond is a colorless transparent substance it is a colorless transparent substance which having extraordinary brilliance this diamond has extraordinary brilliance and diamond is quite heavy it is hardest natural substance known okay now diamond does not conduct the electricity diamond burns on strong heating and when you will heat it it will gives the carbon dioxide gas if you burn diamond in oxygen then only carbon dioxide gas is formed and nothing is left behind this shows that diamond is made up of carbon only since diamond is made up of carbon atoms only so its symbol is c now structure of diamond students diamond crystal is a giant molecules that means they are very big molecules of carbon atoms each carbon atoms in diamond crystal is linked to four other carbon atoms by strong covalent bonds and the four surrounding carbon atoms that are the four corners of regular tetrahedron the diamond crystal is therefore made up of carbon atoms which are powerfully bonded to one another see here this is the figure here one carbon it attached with another four carbons and this one is the complex structure of diamond now you know that there four carbons are bounded now another by a network of covalent bond due to this nature diamond structure is very rigid and the rigid structure of diamond makes it a very hard substance now properties of diamond you know that diamond its melting point of diamond it is very high because it is very strongly bonded and diamond is a non conductor of electricity it is insoluble in all solvents and on prolonged heating it changes to graphite now uses of diamond so diamond are used for making jewelries and are used in cutting instruments like glass cutters saw of cutting marbles and in rock drilling equipments and the sharp edges diamond are used by eye surgeons as a tool to remove the cataract from eye with a great precision now it is used in windows of spacecraft also students do you know that diamond is the hardest substance why because breaking a diamond crystal involves breaking a large number of strong covalent bonds so breaking covalent bonds is not an easy task this property makes the carbon allotropes the hardest element on the 
earth second one is graphite you know that it is also an allotrope of carbon so graphite is grayish black opaque substance and graphite is lighter than diamond it is important that graphite is lighter than diamond and graphite is, is soft and slippery to touch this graphite conducts electricity and graphite burns on strong heating to form carbon dioxide like the diamond okay if we burn graphite in oxygen then only carbon dioxide gas is formed so same property is here in case of graphite and diamond only one difference that graphite conduct the electricity but diamond doesn't and graphite is less harder than the diamond now if we burn the graphite in oxygen to so carbon dioxide gas is formed and nothing left behind okay this shows that graphite is made up of carbon only the carbon dioxide formed by burning graphite can turn lime white water milky this is a practical work now since graphite is made up of carbon atoms only so its symbol is also taken to be c now the two common allotropes of carbon that are diamond and graphite have entirely different physical properties for example diamond is extremely hard it is very hard whereas graphite is soft and diamond is a non conductor of electricity whereas graphite is a good conductor of electricity and the chemical properties of diamond and graphite are almost same and for the example both diamond as well as graphite forms only carbon dioxide on burning in oxygen and the difference in the physical properties of diamond and graphite arises because of different arrangement of their carbon atoms since there is difference between their carbon atoms that that's why their structure is different now structure of graphite you know that a graphite crystal consists of layers of carbon atoms or sheet of carbon atoms each carbon atoms in graphite layer is joined to three other carbon atoms in case of diamond that joins four carbon atoms but graphite it joins three carbon atoms by strong covalent bonds and to form the flat hexagonal ring it is important that graphite forms the flat hexagonal rings now the various layers of carbon atoms in graphite are joined by weak forces they can slide over one another due to the sheet like structure graphite is comparatively soft substance and graphite is good conductor of electricity this structure is here for the graphite you know that these are the sheets like structures and next thing is next thing is about the graphite the uses of graphite so you know that powdered graphite is used as a lubricant for the fast moving parts of machineries and graphite is a good conductor of electricity due to which graphite is used for making carbon electrodes it is important that graphite is used in carbon electrodes or graphite electrodes in dry cells and electric arcs graphite is used for making the cores of our pencils that is called pencil leads and black pens it is used as a moderator in nuclear reactor and it is also used as heat resistant crucibles now it is used for making pigments polished and paints now next is fullerene you know that fullerene are also called the buckminster fullerene it is an allotrope of carbon containing clusters of 60 carbon atoms very important now these 60 carbon atoms join together to form the spherical molecules since there are 60 carbon atoms in a molecule of buckminster fullerene so it is its formula is c60 okay now buckminster fullerene is a football shaped spherical molecule in which 60 carbon atoms are arranged in interlocking hexagonal and pentagonal rings of carbon atoms it is also very important thing 
Now there are 20 hexagons and 12 pentagons of carbon atoms in one molecule of Buckminster fullerene. So there are 20 hexagons and 12 pentagons of carbon atoms in one molecule of Buckminster fullerene. And this allotrope was named Buckminster fullerene after the American architect Buckminster because its structure resembled the framework of dome shaped halls designed by the Fuller for large international exhibition. And Buckminster fullerene is dark solid at room temperature. Buckminster fullerene is neither very hard nor soft, so it is moderate. Now, fullerene's structure is given here. Now, next is text your understanding. These questions you will do with the help of notes. Now, next topic is amorphous forms of carbon. So, you had studied about the crystalline forms of carbon. In that, you had studied about the diamond, graphite and fullerene and the amorphous forms of carbon. About this, you will study in our next video. Till then, 